You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. We now have a look at that prescribed burn in Platina that continues today. Cal Fire Tehama Glen unit shared these photos of a successful day yesterday, burning more than 200 acres at the R Wild Horse Ranch. They'll burn 950 acres total through tomorrow. No smoke in sight though right now in this live look over to Hama County. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff tracking conditions for us. No smoke, Jason, and that's a good thing as conditions kind of change over the next 24 hours, huh? Yeah, good thing we don't have any wind also. That's very helpful as far as those control burns are concerned, but hopefully that wraps up sooner than later because tomorrow we do have stronger wind in the forecast. We also had a lot of clouds last night, which kept the overnight lows a little bit milder. If you remember from yesterday, Alturas had a low of 17. We improved. It was only 27 this morning, but still well below freezing. 31 degrees is the low today in Chester. 35 in Bernie. We kept it above freezing there, and it was 40s and lower 50s around the valley with the clouds outside. Highs were still below average by 2 to 3 degrees for most of us. We only reached 55 in Alturas. It was 65 in Paradise, 72 degrees in Chico, and 73 degrees in Redding with some high clouds once again, already moving overhead. Now we had that first batch of clouds late last night through the first half of today. They're already moving into Nevada, but here comes the next round of clouds. But just like that last storm, if you want to really call it a storm, the next one not looking much more impressive. There's a little bit more moisture with it. And unfortunately for our area, it will actually be vigorous enough that it causes more windy weather. So we'll have the clouds tonight and early tomorrow. We're going to clear out a lot of those clouds by the afternoon, but the wind will be blowing. We'll have more wind tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, all the way through Thursday morning. And then you'll notice the change in direction of those clouds. They start pushing in from the southwest toward the northeast. That's our next weather pattern change is moving our way. We'll have a brief break between all these small disturbances on Friday. This particular model wants to bring in one storm much weakened compared to yesterday's model run by Saturday. There's a slight chance for showers, but I think a lot of us are going to remain completely dry Sunday under the brief break. And then we get to Halloween Monday and next Tuesday, which is the first day of November. It also wants to bring in another weak storm. It's not very impressed with our chances for measurable rain, which I'm going to show you coming up in a second. Most places not even receiving anything, not even a drop all the way through next seven days. And what's problematic with this is this a complete reversal compared to yesterday. It was bringing everybody between a tenth of an inch and almost nine tenths of an inch of rain coming up in the second half hour. I'm going to show you the other model, which also is doing a complete flip flop as far as the amounts of rain are concerned. But what you will notice in the short term, we do expect more of that wind to start blowing, especially by tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, a few breezes coming out of the north, that cooler wind, and we'll also have more of the gusty wind for tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, all the way into early Thursday morning. Lots of sustained wind between 15 and 30 miles an hour with gusts 25 to 35 miles an hour possible. And we'll have a little bit less wind by Thursday and Friday, which is good news for us. We don't need an enhancement of that fire danger, but it will be a little bit higher tomorrow than it has been for a while. There's your forecast for tomorrow morning clouds and more afternoon sun with a little bit of cooling for Trinity and Siskiyou counties. Highs mid to upper 50s and lower 60s on on Wednesday for the northeast. We'll also have another chilly start with a few high clouds outside lows 20s and 30s again highs pretty mild 50s with a few lower 60s for Susanville, Quincy and Shingletown for the Ridge lows tonight. Also fairly cool. Almost everyone dropping down to the 40s except for Paradise with a low of 50 and a high of 63 there tomorrow up to 57 degrees for Sterling City for the northern part of the valley. We'll have some high clouds overnight tonight. Lows averaging in the mid to upper 40s highs a little bit cooler than today by only a degree or two 70 to 72 and the Chico area lows tonight mainly in the mid to upper 40s highs tomorrow return to the lower 70s for the afternoon hours, but gusty wind both Wednesday and Thursday. We don't have a lot of warmth in this forecast, but there's only a few chances for some rain showers. It may end up being more likely Tuesday on the first day of November. We're going to see if we can keep your Halloween dry. Thanks.